I'm Teco Baz. Welcome to the channel. The channel that's all about radio, vintage, turntables, stereos, uh, all sorts of things. I hope you like what we do on our channel. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get on with the videos. I have an old Clipsal box. Um, it's just um, just an old box I've, I've managed to get from somewhere. And I'm putting two bulbs on it. Why two? Uh, I'll be putting a switch in between them. Uh, because I want to have, say, a uh, maybe a 40 watt bulb and a 100 watt bulb. So I'm not unplugging, plugging in bulbs all the time. Uh, or globes, as, as uh, some of you guys might call them. Um, so I decided, okay, I'll put two in here. I can leave them plugged in. It's handy. I can start off with the load-in bulb and then move to um, the 60 or perhaps a 100 watt globe in that one. Now, um, a switch on top to maybe switch between them or possibly both. So if I did have um, a, a 60 and a 40, I can make a middle position on the switch which will switch them both in which will give me a 100 watt um, dim bulb. Okay, the other thing that I have bought off the internet um, is one of these little power meters. Uh, just a cheapie. Um, our lighting isn't real good in here. <laughs> I've got to, um, yeah, got to get this worked out. A uh, little cheap power meter uh, AC. It is um, up to 10 amps. Uh, it's an eBay item. I don't know, 20 bucks or something. Um, line in and the load across it. It reads watts, amps, um, voltage, and I thought, well, that would look pretty nice if I put it in the front of our panel, and a couple of switches here for um, for our bypass and dim and on off. So that's the idea. That's where I'm up to at the moment. So we'll cut the video at the moment, and I will take some pickies of this and uh, flick through it and then we'll come back eventually and get back to the little HMV baby and see how we go from there. Okay, we'll stop the video here and we'll talk to you soon. Back at the bench again. Um, one thing led to another with this dim bulb turnout. Um, features. Yeah, I started thinking, yeah, going to need two lamps, but that was only the beginning. And then we wanted a nice socket on the end, and then we wanted a, a fuse holder, of course. Um, always must be fused. And then the nice pretty panel sort of come up um, with a um, the indicator, some switches, on off switch, bypass, so forth, left, right on the lamps and all, all lamps. Um, so this is where we've got so far. So yeah, this is taking a little bit longer than expected. But um, we're getting there. So um, I also have two LED indicators to indicate uh, red or green as to yeah, whether we've whether we've got power or whether it's safe to use, so forth. Just the um, the status of the whole thing. 
So I will keep building. This is just an update of where we're up to. As I said, one thing leads to another and yeah, so it goes on. All right, uh, we'll return when we get this um, a little bit, little bit more, more presentable than what it is and um, hopefully we'll all working nicely. Okay. Okay guys, um, well, um, we have our dim bulb, I'm just testing him, um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't sort of how it all started out, uh, quickly testing the radio, but uh, certainly need a dim bulb. Um, as you can see, I've got a short on the power lead, um, just to check the lamps. Um, that's the unit I've made. Um, you probably you can see him okay there it's um, yeah it tells me um, voltage watts amps so forth on the meter which is quite handy um, I've mounted a couple of little LEDs there dim and uh, that fella turns red when he's in bypass so I know it's safe on dim uh, this fella red um, turn the whole thing off, it goes green. I can select both lamps. I can select one or two um, from there. Um, so I've got a 40, a 40 watt in there and a 70 watt in the second one. Um, so I've um, we've more or less got 110 watts there if I flick to this one and then put one plus two on we've then got 110 watts or I can select 40 or 70 so there we go there's um, um, yeah there's the makeshift job of the nim bulb that um, sort of um, all took place <laughs> all because I want to test the radio so I guess the um, the next so I guess the next thing to um, to do will be to hook him up to the radio and um, you guys can see all this live. I haven't checked this radio. I have no idea whether it's going to go. So um, we'll do this as, um, as the other guys do it on YouTube and we'll do it live. Um, I'm not used to doing all this at the moment. Normally I just work alone and work, uh, work away certainly without cameras. But anyway, we'll um, we'll check all this one out and see how we go. We'll be back very shortly with it hooked up. And on that note, that will bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you give us a thumbs up. And if you want to follow our channel, um, please hit the subscribe button. would be very much appreciated. Okay then, until next time, thank you for watching. We'll see you then.